Yeah, writing is self, but it's not the self, it's the selves, right? But it's also writing is otherness. Uh, the last paragraph of the chapter says it all, so I'd recommend that you take a look at that. She talks about vampiric writing, always good when you're talking about vampires and writing. Uh, and then she'll talk about the idea of Borderlands itself, uh, Borderlands Bastisa mosaic art versus Western art, right? And she'll show it's not only just Western science and Western language or monolingualism, but it's Western art, which is rational, standardized, musealized. And here she is, is making a critique of the Western Museum uh, and how Western museums have uh, ripped off and plundered uh, native art throughout the world, and then they present it uh, in a colonized and appropriated way, right? So she sees this as, uh, again, it's not just neutral, it's not just art, right? It's not just a cultural mechanism, but it's a cultural industry which is uh, otherizing and violating uh, indigenous uh, cultures. And finally, we go to chapter seven here, right, uh, towards the new consciousness. So here uh, she really tries to sort of pull it together and sort of make an argument that, um, you know, what she's been saying, which seems particular to her, right, and her context, right, is really, you know, she's trying to universalize her idea and say it's uh, borderlands is for everyone. Uh, everyone can do it. Oppressor, uh, oppressed and oppressor, right? Uh, you know, it's something that, you know, it's possible and it's a way out for both the, uh, the oppressor and the oppressed, uh, in a way. Um, so, yeah, chapter one to five are largely making the critical argument. Chapter six is a transition and chapter seven is where she tries to put it all together here and lead us out in a, in a positive way. So the thing she mentions here is, you know, this type of uh, borderlands consciousness you, you, it requires a tolerance for contradictions and ambiguity. It's a both and style of writing uh, of consciousness, not an either or one. It's transcending dual, duality. It's always interrogating history. Um, and then she, you know, she has a great line where she says the gringo, <laughs> right, which is the... Uh, a derogatory term used by Chicanos uh, uh, for white uh, white men, right? It says the gringo must accept the doppelganger or the double or the other in their psyche. So uh, that's a nice little move there at the end. Okay, so that's the chapters in a nutshell. That's the book in a nutshell. Good luck.